I just want to know, why did you camp? Go throw yourself off the tallest bridge in your state. You're looking at one of the content creators that don't take this game seriously. But I want to know, why did you stay there and camp? I am the person that don't take Dead by Daylight serious. Oh, there she goes. There you go. some, some of you were asking where the dog was. She's back. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a situation involving a TTV that does not, I repeat, does not take this game seriously. I can't stress that enough, okay? This TTV does not take this game seriously. A streamer by the name of Slade sent me an interaction that they had with this TTV, and during the match, they were playing as Sadako, and they did something unthinkable. Something unforgivable, okay? They camped the hook when all the gens were done. I know, it's, it's insane. I know most of you watching are probably foaming at the mouth and clawing at the screen just from hearing me say that. So naturally, the Survivor TTV had some things to say about this. Let's take a look at how it all went down. Oh yeah, get that generator done. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Hello. Okay, so let's just analyze the uh, situation a little bit here. So as you can see, one person is dead and there's three survivors left. Two of them almost have the last generator done, but the Sadako went over there and checked on it. So now that the other person's hiding, you can see, and the Adam is coming to get the save. Now there's only one person who is dead on hook at this point, and the game is almost over. The person who's dead on hook is the TTV. So you'll see, Adam gets the save, and Sadako comes oh, no, yeah. back. Like, they made the wiggle system where they don't even fucking like, unless you got... Like, and you're if you're running um, and who does she find oh she's coming after me i'm dead yeah so there you go yeah she fucking tunneled me yeah go ahead and get out of here y'all oh i forgot all about it and she got no way leave she does have get no the fuck out of here so yeah she did tunnel there and i know that's super forbidden for some people but i think considering the circumstances it's not like you know they were hard tunneled or anything like that throughout the match the match was over the last gen was basically done it seemed like the sadako went over and checked the gen uh while adam was coming to get the save couldn't find the other survivor because they were hiding so had no choice but to come to the other two survivors you know that were near the hook and then saw the one who was dead on hook and that's the smartest play to make is to go for that person so you could try to get a 3k and so that's what they did now this ttv doesn't get super upset about the tunneling they're obviously annoyed by it, but they get uh, more annoyed as the match continues. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. Hey, look at that. Trying to find the last survivor. This is just making the makings of for trash people. <laughs> he said this is the makings of trash people. Okay. Trash individuals who play killer now to be good. And they're not good. <laughs> Probably just trying to win the match. Now they're going face camp, see? That's bullshit. Okay. When so people play like that, it's bullshit. Well, I don't know what you want her to do, though. Because look, the exit gate is right here. That's the most garbage shit I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what she's supposed to do there. So again, let's just analyze this real quick. There's two survivors left. One of them is on a hook. The exit gate is literally right behind this Otico. An open exit gate. So where is she supposed to go? Is she supposed to run across the map to check the other exit gate, which would be just letting them get the free unhook and walk straight out the exit gate that's right here? I know that that's how some survivor players want you to play. They want you to just play like you don't know what's happening. And oh, where could the survivors be? It's like there's two survivors left the Adam can either get the save here or he can escape himself. The smartest thing for the Sadako to do, especially because she has saved the best, is to try to trade or prevent the unhook so that way she can get three kills. I don't see anything wrong with that. Again, all the gens are done. I don't know why it matters so much. It's just this mentality of some survivor players that want the killer to just aimlessly walk around the map and look for survivors when they know where the other survivor is. It's obvious that he's here and gonna try to get the save right next to the exit gate. So why do survivors expect killers to just walk to the corner of the map or walk somewhere where there's no, I know why it's because they want a chance at a free escape. They want 
they want a free win that's all they want and if you don't give it to them then you're the toxic one you're the evil one and you're trash and a piece of shit and all that i also just want to point this out real quick slade didn't bring any gen defense iron grasp agitation save the best and no ed an end game perk meanwhile the survivors are in a three-man survive with friends and they've got a brand new part hyper focus stakeout two adrenalines sprint burst prove thyself resilience two very solid med kits you can bring all of that, but the killer isn't allowed to camp even when all the gens are done. And they're TTV too. Yep, here we go. Points out that they're a TTV. That's like, it makes no sense. You a fucking content creator and you're fucking camping people. Go throw yourself off the tallest bridge in your state. Oh, wow. Wow. Who the fuck? I love that condescending comment of, you're a content creator and you're going to be camping people what the fuck and then proceeds to tell them to kill themselves like that's something you should be doing as a content creator slade went into this streamer's chat to say gg and here's how that went no sir i i can't gg you oh you camp the last kill unbelievable why i'm a killer main and i don't i've never camped dc tunnel the Oh, good for you. Good for you, killer main. I'm a killer main and I would never ever dare. I would never dare camp the last kill. I would never dare tunnel or or anything like that. It's I I, I would only tell people to jump off bridges and, and, and end their life. Speaking of which, Slade heard that comment and questioned them asking, you're gonna tell me to jump off a bridge for that? And this is how the streamer responded. But I, you gotta throw yourself off the tallest bridge. It's a mm, 34, 35% chance you might survive. Unless you live in fucking San Francisco or San Diego, you, you're not gonna survive that. Well, hey, at least if he's gonna tell someone to jump off a bridge, he's telling them the odds, you know, of which they'll survive. That's educational. I just wanna know, why did you camp? You knew that they both was gonna get out. So why did you camp? Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> He literally answered his own question within the question. He said, why did you camp? You knew they were both going to get out. So why did you camp? Gee, that's why he camped. Because he knew if he left the area, they would both escape. Exactly. You answered it yourself. He stayed there so that he could secure one of them it's not that hard of a concept to grasp and you're looking at one of the content creators that don't take this game seriously but i want to know right why did you stay there and camp so i am the person that don't take dead by daylight serious at all but sure i want to know why did you camp <laughs> not at all you took it seriously baby and you talking to a killer man here we go again first two matches i got four k's well what yeah i'm a killer man yeah i got two four k's earlier today um and i don't take this game seriously either i don't by the way i got two 4ks earlier today two i got two of them because i'm a killer main a killer main who doesn't take this game seriously if anybody takes this game seriously it's you um earlier today i got two 4ks why did you camp was it necessary does your community know that does your community appreciate that does your community promote that shit report me you gotta love the way that interaction ends. The way he says, does your community know? As a content creator, does your community know that you do that shit? That you would camp a hook when all the gens were done? Does your community know? As he sits there in front of his community, telling someone to end their life over a match of Dead by Daylight. You may have also noticed earlier when I showed Slade's profile that he is a disabled veteran. So not only are you telling someone to end their life, which is already a terrible, terrible thing to do, but you're telling a disabled veteran to jump off of a bridge and kill themselves because of how they played in Dead by Daylight. And you're somebody who doesn't take this game seriously. Got it. Everybody, please go show some love to Slade. I have their link in the description and in the pinned comment for this video. It's not fun to get told to kill yourself, especially in front of, you know, somebody's audience while they're streaming live on Twitch. I'm a little bit behind on checking my email for submissions for videos like this. You guys do send me a lot of interactions and I got to catch up and watch them. So expect more videos to be out. And if you have interactions you want to send me, the email for that is in the description. Apologies if I take a little bit of time to respond or get to your email. 
there's a lot and life can get crazy. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments and also feel free to share any experiences you've had similar to this. Remember to be kind to your fellow gamers and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. He's a good girl.